Like we always do with this time I go for mine, I get to shine Now throw your hands up in the sky Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a custom cursor or mouse, whatever you want. I'm using the default one right now, but what you want to do to make it is we're going to use a program called Sib Cursor Editor right here. And to get that, you go to Google and you type in Sib Cursor, whoops, Sib Cursor Editor. And you click on the first one that comes up. Then you scroll down and you find download and you click on EXE and save it to your desktop. So you save it, install it. I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to do that. And then once it's all installed, you go to Google and then you find a picture that you want your cursor to be of. So I'll type in small stick man. And I you go to images and then I'll look and I'll find one. Oh, here. This has a small stick man in it. Yep, that's going to work. So you go to edit. Oh, nope. You just right click, copy. And then you open up paint. I already have that opened up. And then you go to edit and paste. And all I want to use is a stick figure. So I'll cut him out of this picture. There we go. Now you can just delete the other so then you go to image view actually zoom custom 800 percent and then you find your stick figure and then there's all these little pixels that are messed up around it and you want to erase those so you go to the eraser and then you just erase them all and I'll pause the video so you don't have to watch me erase them Okay, there, I just erased all of it. As you can see, there's no extra pixels. I don't know if you can tell or not, but there is not. And so, okay, you go up to here, to this tool, and you click on that. Then you drag it over your guy. Actually, I'm going to make that closer to him, make it smaller. Try to make it as small as you can. So once you get it, then you right click on it and choose copy. And this is when the sib cursor editor comes in. So you click on that, you open that up. This is just trying to advertise, make me want to buy more. Okay, I'll just click on that. Okay, there. It should have popped up. If this pops up, just click OK. Mine's usually at 32 by 32. That's just what I have it at. Okay. So then it will open up and you go to edit paste paste as meta file and that paste in mine pretty big so let's see actually if I go to new cursor and then maybe if I make this bigger and that will work so yeah that's what you can do so I'll do that and I'll go and put it right there. And maybe I can zoom in here. View. Oh, there we go. Zoom in. So I'm gonna so zoom in on your picture if you're zoomed out. Okay, there. Now you're gonna have the white spots that came from when you made it in paint and you want to delete all those white spots so you go to the eraser tool and you can right click on it to make it bigger or smaller I always start out with a really big one to get all, all the big pieces and once again I'll pause it so you don't have to see me erase all these white dots okay so there I erased all of them and then another thing, like for mine, I have a face, and if I want to color that in with an eye, you can go over here to the paintbrush, and then choose your size. I'll make mine be the smallest. And then over here you can choose a color, so I'll choose blue. And then you can put little dots in for their eyes, if you're doing a stick figure, 
or just color it up to make it look better okay so then once you're done with that okay you go to file save as and then here on the I'll save mine onto the desktop you know I'll name it stick figure and you click save and you can minimize this and there I save mine onto the desktop okay but to get it you go to start control panel mouse pointers click on browse and then these are the normal computer ones but you find where you saved it so I'll go to the desktop stick figure click on that and then you click apply and then there there it is but mine I made mine on a really small really small picture and so my mouse is really small so you probably won't want this and if that's your problem then just go to file new cursor and then make it a different size so click on OK and then I already have it saved so go to edit paste and see this is what I should have done it has it's a good size and so I'll go to file save as stick figure one save it and then I'll go to control panel mouse pointers browse and then go to the desktop which is where I saved it stick figure one whoops click on stick figure stick figure one then you click apply and see there it is and you can do it with all sorts of pictures and whatever you want and so there you go thanks for watching Bye.